And you know who we're about to talk to. The guy that Jim Callis was just talking about. Yes, Adley Rushman, the number one prospect in the Baltimore Orioles organization, joins us. Adley, good to see you. How is spring training going so far for you? Uh, a little bit different this year so far, but uh, a lot of fun with the guys, uh, learning a lot, and just happy to be out here and playing again. How close do you feel you are to being major league ready? I mean, that's a tough question. Uh, it's it's tough to know until, you, you know, you've been someplace and you played at that level to know if you're ready or not. Um, I'd like to think I can compete at any level at any given time um, just because I feel like that's the confidence you have to have going into, into things. Um, so I guess we'll just uh, wait and see. But uh, I'm just trying to do all I can right now to get better in mind. Are you only catching in camp right now or is there another glove you're wearing? Uh, <laughs> well, there was a picture that went out the other day uh, with me wearing a, like a softball mix, uh, mitt when I was catching the knuckleballer. Uh, but I've been, you know, taking a couple ground balls at first base just for just for fun, but mostly just catching. What is the most difficult part of the game for you? Is it hitting, catching, receiving? What part do you have to work on the most? I mean, I think uh, just getting used to a new staff, uh, being able to call a game at the big league level, and um, just making sure that I'm making all the right moves uh, with every single pitcher and their given uh, strengths and mindset for the game. So uh, that's, for me, I think the biggest area of growth that I'm trying to experience right now. And then just uh, getting accustomed uh, to being comfortable back in the box again. And you're a confident guy. I uh, love that about you. As a number one overall pick, there's always a lot of pressure that comes with it. You deal with it well. But people want to know that, that you're improving. How do you feel like you improved when you didn't play any minor league games last year? Yeah, it's definitely tough. Um, I think the ultimate site last year helped a lot. Um, I was very fortunate to be able to get those uh, three months in of, of work. And I think just making sure you're making the most of every every single day um, and staying motivated during the off season and trying to get better. Uh, that's really all you can do is just control the controllables at that point. At such a young age, uh, and you get to be in camp with all these names, seeing what Trey Mancini went through, what did that teach you? I mean, he's an inspiring human being. Uh, just being around him, the story, uh, what he's been through, it's, uh, it's humbling. And um, he's such a good guy. I think um, you, you just realize at that point that baseball is more than just a game. Um, yeah. he's, uh, he's a true inspiration to everyone here at the Orioles. And, uh, you know, you just you count your blessings. And uh, to play this game, um, to be able to come out here every day uh, is a blessing. And I think uh, we can all learn a little something from that. And, um, you know, make sure that we, uh, you know, we're just, we're making the most of every single day out here. Adley Rushman, I'm calling you the future face of the Baltimore Orioles for a reason. Super talented guy. Best of luck in 2021. One of us has a feeling that you're going to be in the big leagues. That's coming up in a second, but thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.